We've just come into August, which means we're on the final approach into uh, Christmas time on Amazon. You'll be thinking to yourself, holy shit, Christmas is ages away. But I'm going to show you exactly how you timeline these things out so you'll know exactly at what particular dates you need to have certain things done to make sure you're ready for the Christmas rush on Amazon. Now, if you like this kind of content where I'm helping you build your own e-commerce business, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. It truly, truly helps with the YouTube algorithm. Also consider subscribing to my channel because we post brand new content each and every day, all designed to help you make money online. And if you've got a question for me, just comment below and I'll answer it there for you. All right, let's get into your e-commerce diary. Speak to you soon. Today is, as we, as we talk, the beginning of August. It's the beginning of August, okay? So let's have a little thinky thinky about what the freaking hell is going on. Because, sent to all, I want to inspire you and harass you into uh, getting off your ass and getting into gear. The beginning of August, you you actually do not have much time. If you want to be selling by Christmas, even by, I mean, Prime's a whole different thing. But let's say you want to be selling by Christmas and take advantage of that Christmas business that happens, which is huge. Um, now is when you want to get started. Now is when you want to get up and running. Let me kind of walk you through so you can see exactly how this works. Now, Here's our assumptions, okay? So this all assumes this. And clearly, this also takes time. So picking your product, what to sell. Well, you may have that already. Brilliant. If you do, if you don't, you should either get some help or you should get to work and get it done yourself. One of those two things. Get, to get, it, get some help to get it done just fast. Pick it. Let's go. Or, or get to work, do it yourself, okay? Then you've got to go find your supplier. So you've got to go to Alibaba, interview all your suppliers, go through all the process to find a great supplier. You've got to get all that done. You've got to get your samples organized. Um, if you get them sent over to you versus if you get somebody in China to look after them for you, okay? But you've got to get samples. You've got to know what the hell you're selling and you've got to be knowing that you're selling something good. So you've got to do all that. And then day one, you place your order, okay? Day one, you place your order. So let's start the process now. You tell me, I've, I've placed my order today. How long, roughly, is the production time going to be for me to get that done? Production times means the amount of time it takes for the factory to take my order, and then produce the thing that I want. Because they have to make it, of course, okay? How long typically is that going to take? 45 days, says Jen. 30 days, says Bron. Two weeks, says Hayden. 14 to 21 days, about a month. Two to four weeks, seven days. Three weeks, five weeks, eight weeks, 30 days. Let's say that's going to take... 21 days, okay? About 21 days. So now we're up to 22 days. And again, I haven't factored in any of this shit, okay? We're just saying, here's what's taken. So, all right, cool. We've got our thing produced. What is next? Well, now you've got to get your thing from the factory in China onto the boat in China somewhere. So Guangzhou, wherever it may be. So you've got to get it you got to get it freighted from the factory to the port, and then you've got to get it checked into the port and put onto the boat, ready to sail to Australia, USA, whatever it may be. How long do you reckon that period of time is going to be? What do you reckon that, uh, how long, thank you so much for correcting that for me. What do you reckon that amount of time is? Two weeks, seven days, six weeks, now, I'm just talking about that specific period of time. Factory to the port onto the boat. Not the, not Nothing else, okay? So, just that period of time. Freight number one, we're calling that. 
21 days, up to a week, seven days. Let's, let's just say it happens pretty good and it happens in five days, okay? So five days. So now we're at, what are we at? 27 days. And now our stuff is on the boat. How long is it going to take to get our stuff freighted from China to America or the USA? How long does that freight take to port? Not, not anywhere else, but just to the port. Okay, what's that, that going to cost us? Sorry, what's that going to take us in terms of time? That amount of time for the freight to leave China and arrive at the port in Australia or the USA, for instance, okay? So freight number two, what do you reckon? 28 days, four to six weeks, five weeks, 30 days, 30 days, five weeks. Let's say it takes 25 days, okay? And again, I'm, I'm being like super generous because at the minute it's nuts. Let's say it takes 25 days, okay? So now we're up to what? 52 days, okay? 52 days. So we're almost at two months and it's only just arrived in the port of our target country. Now it's arrived at port. We have to get it through port. So in Australia, it has to get from the boat, has to get unpacked, it has to get checked, and then it has to go through customs. Maybe there's a check, maybe there isn't a check, and then it has to get put onto the back of a lorry. How long does that take? What do you reckon? About a week, five days, eight to 14 days, 10 days. Are you listening to this? 10 days, again, Let's be super, super cool and just say, look, it happens really, really nicely. There's no issues whatsoever. Bada boom, bada bing. Just goes fly straight through five days, okay? Super, super easy. Just go straight through. So now we're up to what? 57 days. All right. So now we've got it um, onto our truck at the port. And now we want to get it from the port into FBA warehouses. So it's got to drive into the FBA warehouses, got to rock up at warehouses and then get put and checked into FBA warehouses. How long does that take? What do you reckon? FBA check-in, a week, 21 days, 7 to 14 days, 10 days, 15 days, Again, let's be super, super cool and say seven days, okay? Let's let's just err on the side of caution for all of these things. So we're at seven days, so now we're up for 64 days. Okay, so we're, up, we're two months in. We're at two months in before you even get to start selling. Before you even get to start selling, okay? And that is being super, super generous with how fast things happen. It's probably going to be slower than that, especially now. But if everything goes really well for you, just over two months is what you can expect that to take. Think about that. Now, all right, so awesome. Checked into FBA, fantastic. Now your stuff is live in FBA. Okay, so now what you've got to do before you can get launching and get yourself up and running is you need, what, reviews. So you need to get yourself some reviews. What else do you need to get done? Before they launch, okay? Before they launch, what else do you need to get done? Reviews. So you're gonna get yourself, say, five reviews. Let's suppose you did a good job and you've got those all racked up, ready to go. And so your five reviewers, um, they buy your product. And so Amazon has to ship it to them. They have to receive it and then they have to leave the review and Amazon has to okay the review. So in a beautiful, perfect world, that is five days, okay? Oops, that's five days for that to happen. So now we're up to, what, 69 days, my favorite number. We're up to 69 days, okay? And now you can launch. Now you can launch. I mean, that's considering, and you would do, in this portion here, you would do all this cool shit that we know to do. 
branding, packaging, get your ducks in a row, Amazon page setup, your launch prep. So you would do all that in that period of time, okay? That's when you would do all that sort of stuff. That's when I do it anyway. Because there's nothing else you can do. You just got to kind of wait. You might as well be working on your business by doing stuff. So there you go. We're 70 days in. So for me, come the 1st of November, that's when Christmas starts on Amazon. That's when Christmas starts. That's when people start shopping for Christmas presents on Amazon. By the 15th, it's really, really ramped up. It's really, really ramped up. And then, of course, by the 1st of December, it's going insane. It's, this is where it starts getting insane. Right up until, in my experience, 21st, 22nd. And then it dies in the arse. It'll just die in the arse then. Does for me anyway. Dies in the arse until the 26th of December. And that's when it goes nuts again. So on the 26th of December, it goes nuts again. But in that period of time, 21st-ish through to the 26th, nothing really happening. But on the 26th, boom, back in it again. So if you want to be ready for that, you kind of have to get your shit together now. Now is the time when you get your shit together. You want to get all that stuff done? You can see for yourself. And listen, anybody that's watching this who's experienced will be going, no way, Neil. It never, ever happens that quickly. So I've been super, super generous with how things happen. Um, but that gives you a good insight into it. So we're in like August now. So we've got August, September, we're coming into October and then we're going to be slap bang into Prime, uh, sorry, into Cyber Monday and Black Friday. So Black Friday, Cyber Monday, very big days as well. And then bada boom, bada bing, before you know it, you're into Christmas. Now is when you want to get your shit together. Now is when you want to make that happen. Now is when you make it happen. Heaps of people here saying you would al they allow three months for that process. And that's, that's what we allow too, okay? Three months is pretty normal. So, yeah, you can make a lot of money over Christmas though. Lots of money. Lots and lots. It's well worth it. That was a video from my regular Monday night open Q&A session with the members of the Aussie Online Entrepreneurs. We've got over two and a half thousand members right around the world, all building their own e-commerce businesses. We're actually the fastest growing community of e-commerce entrepreneurs here in Australia. If you'd like to find out more, get yourself off to www.aussieonlineentrepreneurs.com.au. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.